and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. Today we're getting ready for the final confrontation. I'm going to either research fire ward or holy armor. I think holy armor is probably the best option. Fire ward will definitely help, um, but it will only help for one turn. Whereas holy armor will help for the entire battle. So I, th although at the same time, I might have um, gone about that the wrong way. It might have been a lot better for me to get... Yeah, it probably would have been a lot better to get the the ward. Because, I mean, I'm getting a capital bonus already. So I'm up to 90 now. So I've got absolutely no use for these potions. Oh, I forgot to uh, hire a wizard as well. Oh wait, put him back. All the scrolls... Every single scroll needs to go into the city. Okay, perfect. Um, and everything I'm not taking with me... Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, chance to hit will increase... I guess the wizard's chance to hit. Because then we can buff up his damage by quite a bit. But we'll start by buffing up his. And, yeah, by quite a lot. Because he's doing two attacks per turn. So now he's at 300. Let's see, we can also... Ooh. Bump up their initiative by a lot. They're up to 80. Bump up theirs. Mm, he's 69. He's at 46. He needs a little more. There we go. 59. And that should be all I need. Although, I might as well, since I've got the money... Take all these scrolls, send him off in a corner to cast them. Yes. Um, Tormentio, this is probably one of the most useful spells um, against any party that actually has armor, and unfortunately Uther doesn't, so, or I guess fortunately, I mean either way. As whether I had used the scroll or not, he's not. It doesn't have any armor, so. And having, uh, having to face Inter with armor would really suck. So, <laughs> I'm glad they don't have that. You get to see all these cool spells. Although you've seen most of them cast by other races already. But now you just get to see them cast by me, which is way cooler. Um, what else do I have? This is cool. And that. I've already cast that one on him. Alright. Uh, so I might as well cast some more damaging spells. And blizzard. And now let's take George. Um, out. He's at 70, they're at 40. He's 
She's at 85. She's at 90, and he's at 70. Okay. So I could actually take him out outside of the capital. Which I'm going to do. I don't need the capital bonus. So, first things first. He's doing 300 damage. He's doing, well, well enough. Definitely enough, so. Have him attack Uther. Have George attack Uther. For 400. Nice. And then have him attack these two. One down. And another one. My assassin is doing a decent amount of damage. I'll attack Uther. He should be immune to that as well. Oh, well warded against it at least. And warded against that. Now it's his turn. It's three of us for very little damage. Although our healer was paralyzed. Not that it really matters. We've destroyed him. I might actually try to do this without any extra buffs. Because with them, it's a little bit too much, I think. It's too easy. And of course, everybody levels. Like, I don't... I don't even know how much experience I would be getting from that, because I don't get the indicator. I just know it's enough to level everybody. We have vanquished Uther! The Empire is saved! Praise the High Father! And mission complete. Now let's see what, uh, what we get for that. Oh, first we have to export leaders, of course. We can export any of them that we want. Um, we can actually give them... And all the items that are in their paper doll will be kept. So let's export George and we can take him with us to... Um, to the next scenario. With rage, courage, and faith, the Empire's troops defeated the abomination that Uther had become. Only the Allied forces could have overthrown the neophyte deity. It was a blessing that many had come to the Empire's aid. Alas, the realm was still ablaze and without a successor. It took only a few years for Uther to reduce the Empire to rubble, but his loathsome deeds would take decades to undo. Many years will pass before a new sovereign appears, bearing the mark of kingship. Many years of chaos and ceaseless fighting, for all nobility craves to rule, but few truly possess the virtue and leadership necessary to occupy the throne. The Empire would never forget those dreadful dark events, even if they succeed in rebuilding their once prosperous and peaceful realm. Uther's demented aspirations to replace Bethrisen brought only chaos to the realm. In the end, his ambition was his undoing. And that's that. Not, um, not really a satisfactory ending. I mean, we killed the big demon, but, I mean, there's definitely room for more to happen. So, but there is another scenario available, which I will probably be doing after I play as the other races. I wanted to get the, I want to get the original campaign out of the way first for everyone, um, and then move on to the expansion packs from there. So, I'm, I'm going to be doing the undead next, unless um, 
you guys would like to see something else, if you would, just leave a comment, and if there's a huge desire for a different race, I'll play as that instead. But for now, the plan is to go with the Undead Hordes. Um, I may take a little break just to play another game for a few days, but I'll definitely get back, back into this very soon. Um, and I'll probably up the difficulty a bit, because this was a little too easy. So, um, aside from a couple of bonus episodes, uh, that's it for the Empire Campaign. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.